Hi, I am M. Murli Mohan Reddy, working as an assistant professor. Today I am going to show you how to connect the Java program to a MS Access and uh, here how we are going to write the program here means here already I have typed one program import java.sql okay whenever you are writing a data is connectivity program inside the java means we need to import a package called java.sql dot asterisk and uh, here for the we need to write the sql program inside a try block and a catch block followed by catch block and inside the try block step one i am creating a driver and uh, it is a here uh, i am making to access the ms access by using some type one driver so I am writing the driver name as what a class dot for name of JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver and uh, here I am establishing a connection by connection con is equal driver manager dot create connection of okay JDBC colon here I am mentioning data source name you need to remember this data source name and uh, here I am giving the user ID as empty and uh, password as empty so here here by to select or to execute any statement means we need to create an object as statement st is equal to con dot create statement for repetitive statements means we are going to use something as prepared statement for stored processes means we are going to use something as what a callable statement here i am using a simple statement called a select straw from user and to access the data uh, of that particular fields means we are going to use something as a result set uh, rs is equal to we are going to use statement dot get result set method and uh, here some enumeration type method we are using something as rs dot next okay first row after second row like that i want to display whether the elements are existed or not means we are going to uh, whether any row is existed or not means we are going to check one condition by using something as rs to rs dot next and uh, i want to access the first column means i am going to use rs dot get string of one uh, two and uh, here third column means i am using something as rs dot get string of three and in this manner i am writing the program after that if any error if any runtime error has been arised two types of errors are going to be arised in sql if there is any problem means sql exception or if the driver not found uh, means what is the class not found exception is going to be arised so i am writing it as what a catch exception e and uh, here system dot out dot print a line e and uh, here it is going to show that exception name here I am saving my program and uh, where I am saving my program here means file something save as inside the murli underscore db inside the d drive I am saving and uh, after saving this program okay already exists I am once again saving on that and uh, here you need to remember the table name as what a user you need to remember the table name as uh, data source name as java underscore db first of all we need to create a table as a uh, inside that user is nothing but the table name for that i am choosing something as start button clicking and and ms axis here i am going to open something as ms axis uh, here i am opening something ms axis and a blank database and uh, here where my program is existed here means inside the d drive murli um, underscore db and inside that i am storing something as what uh, murli underscore db okay murli underscore db mm -hmm. and uh, okay murli underscore db i am giving the file name sometimes it is going to take the extension as acc db and uh, mdb okay so i am just giving the name and uh, clicking on the save button and uh, it is creating the database and uh, here after creating the database here i am using something id as what uh, some uh, number and uh, here number first column i am giving number and a uh, second one as a name and uh, here i am giving something as murli okay yeah okay uh, here I am giving something as what a name as Morley. 
and uh, uh, one more field as city and uh, here I am giving the city as Karinagar KNR and uh, here second one as 2 and uh, MMR here I am giving something MMR and uh, here I am giving something as HYD mm, just after this I, I want to save create the table name and I want to save this database clicking on the save and I am giving the table name as what a user here why I am giving it is as a user means inside the Java program we have given it as what a user and uh, here after this I am closing this MS access closing this window and uh, here you need to remember something as Java underscore DB just copy this and uh, here you need to click on the start button and uh, control panel uh, and uh, here I am cl clicking on the control panel and system security and uh, inside the system security administrative tools and uh, here we are going to have open database connectivity 32 bit and uh, 64 bit you just click on the 32 bit and uh, system DSN and uh, here something add and uh, choose you are connected to the MS access so you need to uh, here our file extension is having some ACCDB so uh, MS access driver MDB and ACCDB and clicking on the finish and uh, here whatever the data source name we have just now copied and paste that and select the file uh, where our file database file is existed here means inside the D drive inside the murli underscore db and uh, ok here this choose this file and uh, click on it and click on the ok option and the ok our database driver has been created ok now click on ok and close all this and just go to the java program and uh, compare once here for edit plus editor internally i have plug into some java c and uh, java run and clicking on the java c it is showing no errors now i am successfully compared and now i am clicking on there okay inside that we have created one murli underscore knr just to see that okay here just open the database okay uh, here i am enabling mm -hmm and uh, about clicking same whatever the result we are getting that result is matching result. okay in this manner we are going to make the connectivity between the java and the ms access okay by seeing this you understood how to create a data source name and how to write a general jdbc program and uh, thank you for watching this okay i think you understood this concept okay if you like this video, please share. Okay, thank you.